A small portion of today's video is kindly sponsored by Eufy. Well, hey friends, it's Natalie. So glad you stopped by to hang out with me today for my annual spring clean and decorate with me video. I love making this video every year and we're gonna get right to it. I have the perfect excuse to roll up my sleeves and just get started with the cleaning. We're having some people over tonight for our bi-weekly Bible study that we host here. And I'm gonna get some essential oils in my diffuser so it's smelling fresh in here. And we're gonna start tackling the messes together. If you would like to get up and start working with me, I would love that so much. Much. So it has been way too long since I gave my kitchen a good reset. We've just kind of been doing as needed little spot cleans and daily stuff like dishes while we were in the middle of a big remodeling project in our main bedroom. If you haven't seen that video yet, then I will link it in the description box. We totally transformed it and I'm so in love with how it turned out. But oh my goodness, the other parts of my house have surely felt my absence <laughs> during this time. And I would just love to get caught up on wiping things down, doing some dusting and window cleaning and other parts parts of the house, but starting here in the kitchen and getting things wiped down and reset in here really gets the ball rolling for me and it's the perfect way to start some spring cleaning. And if you're new around here, then welcome. My name is Natalie and I like to make the subjects of homemaking and simple living and minimalism approachable for everyone and applicable to real homes and real families. So if that sounds good to you, then I'd love it so much if you'd subscribe. My kitchen hasn't looked this clean in weeks. It is feeling so much better in here. I have some of the little appetizer things that we're gonna be serving at home group. Just prepped and set out. Some things need to be tossed in the oven right before people get here. I made a crumb mess slicing up those baguettes. So I'm just throwing everything onto the floor. Oh, my appliances are so sparkly. I don't think I've given them a good scrub down probably since New Year. I think the only thing that would make this kitchen look better is to get these floors under control. So many crumbs, so much sticky grime, but that's no match for my Eufy mop vac. And thanks so much to Eufy for sponsoring the next few minutes of today's video. You've heard me over the last year sing the praises of my Eufy Clean Mop Vac. Well, they've done it again and better than ever with the all new Eufy X10 Pro Omni. Did you know AI can actually help you clean your home? Meet the Eufy X10 Pro Omni, the multi-surface cleaner bot to rule them all. This little guy has made such a difference in my cleaning routine as a busy mom of three. And honestly, at this point, I don't know what I would do without it. You know me, I'm all about simplifying and streamlining and the Eufy X10 Pro Omni has replaced vacuums, brooms, and even my mop. And the best part, after it's done cleaning our floors, it cleans itself. Its base station is equipped with not only an automatic mop cleaner and heat dryer, but it also auto refills itself and empties the debris it vacuums up around our house, which as you can imagine with three kids can be quite a lot. One of my favorite features is actually the Eufy app itself, where I can tell my mop vac where to go. It has a whole uh, map of our house and I can have it clean by room. I can kind of draw an area for a zone cleaning sort of thing. I can tell it if I want it to be just vacuum or mopping and vacuum or just mopping, how much water to use, how much suction to use, very user friendly. And it helps me really customize the cleaning experience. We've been blown away by its capabilities and functionality. From its super 8,000 PA suction power, anti-tangle brush, 
to its incredible Mopmaster feature with one kilogram of pressure, high speed dual rotating mops, seamless edge hugging cleaning that can go from hard floor to carpet. It automatically detects different floor types and it lifts its mops when going to carpet. And remember what I said about AI? The Eufy X10 Pro Omni has its own new and improved AIC system that dodges obstacles with ease and uses RGB camera and laser navigation to accurately clean every square inch. It can even detect pet poop on the floor and avoid it and the bigger messes other robots seem to always get themselves into. I say it all the time, having a Eufy mop vac has basically granted me mom's greatest wish, which is being able to double myself. I'm able to go into other rooms of my house or do other tasks, and this thing takes care of the floors for me. Love it so much. And if you would like to check out the Eufy X10 Pro Omni and help support my channel in the process, then I will leave the link in my description box. And thanks again to Eufy for sponsoring that portion of today's video. On to other rooms. So I'm gonna go tackle the bathroom. people come over we're about a half an hour out of people being here so I think I'm gonna do the fun part and arrange some flowers because I've got to get these in water anyway you want to take the living room I got it. thank you I'm gonna be a Love you too. Bible study last night was so wonderful. It's the next day and there is plenty of spring cleaning left to do around this place, but you know what? The sunshine outside is calling me. Here in the Skagit Valley, it's probably the most beautiful place to spend spring. So what am I doing inside my house when I could be out enjoying the daffodils? So let's take a little daff break. There's nothing like visiting the daffodils to make me feel like spring has officially started. I actually have a few of my own daffodils that I've grown, which I'll show you in a bit. We are gonna head outside at some point and do some spring sprucing up out there. But first, I would like to work on this living room. The spring sunshine coming through is just illuminating all of the fingerprints. I also have uh, winter decor, like blankets and stuff that belongs in the Christmas or winter time that I need to launder and stash. We have plenty of things that we can still do around here as we do some spring cleaning. And I would love to know 
in the comments what your spring cleaning looks like. For me, it's not much different than what I typically do on a weekly basis. I do have a bit more to do because I had neglected some tasks as we were doing our remodeling, like I was saying earlier, but I'm not the person who has a big checklist of like everything that I do in the springtime versus the fall time. And like, I have to do X, Y, Z for my spring cleaning. Spring cleaning for me is cleaning while it's spring or in anticipation of it being spring. But I would love to know what you do. Why don't you comment that? But without further ado, I'm stalling. I gotta get cleaning up this room. I'm realizing I got interrupted while I was doing laundry earlier, so I should probably finish this first. Heard about this This isn't necessarily on the subject of spring cleaning, but I just have to share. One of the greatest life hacks I've ever learned was actually when I was binge watching YouTube videos when I was pregnant with my boys. I think it was Rach Loves. I think that was the channel where I heard this, where you do just one color of socks per kid uh, for your household and you don't match them up because it doesn't matter if they're matched or mismatched, you grab one sock for the right, one sock for the left, and you always have a pair. And then Haley has white socks, just so that we can keep them separate, and these are for when she's going out somewhere or putting an outfit together. But when she's gonna get grubby and dirty and needs a pair of socks to go play outside or something like that, and then she just grabs a couple of black socks from the boys' drawer. The heel of the sock is like, here for her, but it actually really doesn't make that much of a difference. And this is a system that has worked for me since the dawn of my motherhood journey. And I just, I thought I'd share because I just did the laundry. I throw the socks behind me off the couch over to here and then I sort them into their drawers. And speaking of these drawers, I've actually had this little Bombay chest of drawers for a while now. I have my hat and glasses and purse up here because I was out earlier. But I've had it for a while, but I've never pointed it out. Isn't this pretty? I found this at an antique store, I think before Christmas time. And it's just, it's so nice. And I love the pop of color that it gives this room. I don't even know what's on this entry hall tree anymore. Those are snow gloves. Oh my gosh. Socks. Are they dirty? Are they not? You know what? They're going back in the drawer. I don't even care. Ugh, this floor is so nasty. What is dripped all over it? What is this? opened up a little tote of decor that I have and I realized a lot of it I could probably just declutter out. I haven't taken it out since we were in our old house. This will now be our third spring here. And the only things that we have been decorating with are these adorable little hand carved bunnies. Tis the season. This isn't really an Easter thing for us. There are bunnies everywhere here where we live. And so it's definitely more of a springtime thing for our family. So I'm gonna put these right here and then take the squirrel that I've had here since autumn, uh, put him back in the autumn box. I've also had these here since autumn, this nice little like, rusty brown <laughs> colored, is that wheat? I don't know, it's something dry. And then, if you've been around for a while, you might recognize these dried flowers. They're getting kind of meager. I've had these for a while now, and I'm not purchasing anything new this year, or even really thrifting anything uh, for my spring decor. I don't really go all out for spring. I have touches here and there, 
And this is one of my favorites. And these, if I can gently, oh, these make such a mess, oh my gosh. Kind of separate them out, they are dropping stuff like crazy. But these go into that vase to give it sort of a springtime look. You know what, you don't need much to dress up your home for different seasons, I know. If you are someone who likes to watch YouTube videos, you probably come across spring clean and decorate with me videos, which I'm not bashing other creators because we all kind of do our own thing and dance to the beat of our own drum. But if you watch those videos and suddenly feel like you have to go out and buy a bunch of new stuff to have your house feel clean and cute for the springtime, I just want to give you the permission that you don't have to do that. I don't know if I'm the person to be taking decor advice from as I stand here with a piece of autumn decor and I found a bunch of other stuff that doesn't belong in this season, but those are my two cents. Is one of my favorite wreaths I have ever owned. Isn't it so pretty? It's very lifelike. It has this nice little bow detail at the bottom. I think it was last spring I made a, a dried flower grapevine wreath. Little DIY project. I don't think I have the bandwidth for that <laughs> this year. So the wreath that we have had on our door since I think I took my Christmas wreath down. We've had this up for a while. It's good enough and I think it's beautiful. And with that baby's breath on it, it's springy enough for me, especially since I'm gonna be doing a bit of real live flower planting around here to spruce up the outside. I have really loved sort of rotating through different plants and flowers in some planters that I have around here. I have these hanging baskets, one in each little opening here on our front porch. And so I will probably keep some of the ivy in them, but I picked up some primroses and pansies and violas. Everything like that is kind of discounted right now in anticipation of it getting warm outside. And it has been rather uh, balmy outside. It's, I wanna say close to 60 degrees right now. There's no need for a jacket outside most of the day. We probably still have several rainy, cold days left in the season, so it's not quite time to be planting vegetables, at least the ones that I have planned. I know there are cold weather vegetables that I could probably be doing, but we've got travel plans and stuff that uh, kind of takes me away from being able to do that sort of gardening, but I can get uh, these flowers planted, which we actually are on the way out the door right now. Uh, but at least my house is tidied up. That feels good to do some spring cleaning. And when I pick up the camera again, probably tomorrow, rain or shine, I'm going to be planting up the flowers that I picked up recently. I am going to plant these beautiful flowers in between rain showers that we've got going on today. I have these two hanging baskets like I showed you earlier. I'm gonna pop them down and plant them up. Oh! 
nothing like stirring up all the cat hair and pollen on the deck to get my allergies just raging. The cat's favorite spot is our porch swing. I tend to agree with them. It's a lovely spot. And isn't this a pretty little frame here with the color in the hanging basket? We have a new uh, lilac tree which will have white blossoms on it. It still needs to be planted in the ground. We just kind of set it there to see if that's the spot that we like it in. This tree, the flowers that I planted today and another tree were actually featured in a plant haul that I did over on my Patreon page. Once a month or so, I do sort of a garden update or outdoor sort of work with me video. And that's what was for March. And it was a lot of fun to have some sunshine and to have some color. If you'd like to subscribe over on my Patreon, it's just five bucks a month. We have a lot of fun over there. And the first month you subscribe, you get everything that I've ever uploaded over there. And I've been doing it for almost Almost a year now. It's been a really good time. So I have one more thing to show you and I am very, very proud of these beautiful blooms. Ladies and gentlemen, we have daffodils and they're all faced that way because the sun comes at them from that direction. So let me turn around a little bit so you can see the pretty buttercups. Oh, so, so beautiful. These are the earliest blooming uh, daffodils that I have out here, but many more are going to pop up over the next month or so. I also have a lot of tulips popping up. The crocuses are kind of scattered throughout. They're on their way out, but they have been absolutely beautiful. We've got them over on this side and then swinging around. We have them over on this side as well. These beautiful little drifts are just so cheery to look out the window and see them down our driveway or when we're pulling in with them facing this way. It's like they're greeting us. Look at how pretty these turned out. Oh my goodness. This was so much work, but definitely worth it. We have so many more blooms left to open up. It's just gonna become more and more colorful. I have a wildflower seed mix that I think I'm actually just going to kind of sprinkle throughout what we have over there. The deer have kind of been after my tulips. Unfortunately, I thought maybe the daffodils might uh, deter them, but not so far. So in order to mitigate that, I think I'm just going to add a bit more color by throwing in some wildflower seeds and, you know, lesson learned. I am happy to report though that the tulips closest to the house have been doing the best and not a single one of them has been nibbled. So hopefully these Bella Poke tulips will be able to show off for us probably in May or maybe early June. But there's the basket over there. I think this basket's crooked. Oh, I need to fix that. The kids just ran outside to hang out with Weston, but I want to show you this really quick. So you know that decor tote that I said I would declutter most of it out, probably donate most of it? Well, while I was outside today, Haley got some stuff out and just went to town. There's a palm branch now in this little hydrangea arrangement that I made, and she got this stool out and hung this egg garland. There are, there are tacks in my wall now. Oh my gosh, look at how she hung this. And then she put this welcome spring little banner up. Oh my gosh, so precious. I was going to donate these items cause they're not really my style anymore, but I don't have the heart to take this decor down that she so lovingly and so sweetly put up. She was so excited to show this to me. She even found like an unopened little bunny figurine salt and pepper shaker. Are they over here? Let me see. The table's kind of a mess right now, but hey, we live here. Um, she even filled up this little bunny jar with these little chocolate eggs. And then these are the bunny salt and pepper shaker set. I think I got these to have as an option to give as like a housewarming gift or something. I'll pick these up at the end of the season because I don't like to go anywhere empty handed and I have just had them for a while. She put this little wreath down as a base for these daffodils in this vase. Like how cute is this? What a sweetheart. I didn't realize how many little bunny figurines I had 
in my collection because I wasn't really putting them out for years and years. They were just kind of hanging out in the tote, but apparently I have uh, no less than a dozen bunnies in my home right now. <laughs> these little wooden hand-painted eggs, I thrifted these last year from an antique store. I am going to set those out. And last but not least, <laughs> another bunny, look at that. This was hand-painted in Ferndale, Washington uh, in 1993. And the set of four of them, one for each season, was at my grandma's house and like one of my earliest memories was noticing that she changed these out. So I got these after she and my grandpa passed away and it is always such a joy to set them out as the seasons change over. Not the most <laughs> Pinterest worthy spring decor, but honestly, I prefer it this way. It just is so sweet to look around and to see little touches in here reflect what we are seeing outside around us. And spring, honestly, has become one of my very favorite seasons, especially now that I'm doing more gardening and getting out in nature more here on this property. So grateful to see the change and the beauty around us and to say goodbye to winter and hello to sunshine and color and springtime and the birds are coming back and it's just wonderful. I'd love to know in the comments, what is your favorite season? You know, I think I will always be a fall time girl. I love cozying up up and I love seeing the change during that season, but spring is a close second for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for coming along with me as I did some cleaning around here, spruced up my home for spring. Thanks again to Yuffie for sponsoring a little part of this video and making free content possible on my channel. Upload schedule is looking a little bit different here at the end of March and going into April, just because we have some holiday family plans. We're actually going to be out of the country for a little bit on a trip to Ireland. And I I fully intend to have some wonderful family time and to have a true holiday, a true vacation. So things will just look a little bit different around here for the next several weeks. So you'll want to turn that bell notification on so that you don't miss when I do post a new video. Thanks so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later.